student writers are a little paralyzed by the blank page or the blank computer screen. And I really used to be too, I know how that feels. And for me, when I was starting out, that feeling of paralysis came because I was ambitious, because I wanted to make something beautiful or witty or charming or wonderful, something that spoke to other people. And I didn't think I might, you know, I could do it, but I wanted to. How would you start writing something so amazing? It's very intimidating. My father is a playwright, and he said to me, don't try to write something amazing. Try to write something stupid. And I didn't know what he meant, but he explained that if you know what story you kind of want to tell, just write the stupid version. Stop trying to be the great American novelist. Stop trying to be impressing your friends or your parents. Just write some stupid old version, and then you will have written something. Just write it. That's a good day's work. You wrote something. Great. Next day, go in, make it a little better. Or finish the stupid thing. But when, the finished thing, when you finished a draft of the stupid thing, go in and see what you could do to make it better that day. Make it a little better. Do that again the next day. Just keep making it better. One little stupid section at a time. It's okay if it's stupid for now. It's not going to be stupid by the time people read it. 